Teresa Carrington is with us in studio now. She is the CEO of the Blessing Basket Project. Welcome to the show. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to be here. And we have so much to learn from you because myself, I didn't know you existed. So tell me oh my goodness. how you started this project. <laughs> well, the Blessing Basket Project is a nonprofit organization. Our world headquarters is based right here in St. Louis, Missouri. And we find artisans in impoverished countries around mm-hmm. the world. Currently, we are in six countries. And we pay them more than anyone in the world to weave baskets. And they enter into our program. They become entrepreneurs, not through the baskets, which is what a lot of people think. They weave baskets to get a lot of money. They use that money to start businesses in their local economy. And when those businesses succeed, they sustainably exit poverty and they are out of our program. So in short, we can go to a developing country. Mm -hmm. I can ask a woman six questions and tell you if I can get her out of poverty. And if I can, she'll come into our program. And in about three years' time, we will take her from abject poverty to sustainable prosperity. And we do that in partnership with her. And that's who we are. And can you share with us those six questions? Well, the six questions all center around what goes on in her life. How many expenses does she have? What kind of dependence does she have? And it, the, the list kind of goes on and on, but it's all about what is her position of poverty? We first mm-hmm. establish that, and we also establish all kinds of things which take a little bit to explain, but they are all about her desire to get out of poverty. Mm-hmm. And in fact, the model that we use to intake artisans works so well that we're in the process of patenting it. We've actually filed for a patent for it. And the idea behind filing for the patent is we want to share it with the world, Mm -hmm. but we want to protect it in a way that no one can corrupt the model. Because we know when you use the Blessing Basket Project model, people will get out of poverty, whether they're here in the United States or a half a world away. So it's been a very successful program. Yes. And I know you brought a lot of items today that are just gorgeous items. So these are not your grandma's baskets, Mm -mm. what people think of when they think of a basket. Uh, They are handmade artisan products from, as we said, six countries around the world. We work with about 2,000 artisans around the world, and they create beautiful works of art. And the Blessing Basket Project is the only nonprofit that enables you to actually track your item all the way back to the artisan, not just track it, but you can actually click on our website on our Artisan and You program, put in a special number that's associated with your basket, You'll find it when you purchase the basket. You put that in, and up will pop a photograph of the person and everything about them. Their children, their children's names, their ages, what they've been doing in the last year, what they're doing now, what they hope to do with their money. You can write them a letter. Very soon you'll see a born-on date for your basket in the entire lineage, like when it got onto the boat to get here, when it it, uh, arrived at Blessing Basket, when it left to be sent to you, and Mm -hmm. uh, all kinds of things. So this... um, total supplier transparency all the way back to the artisan and enabling you to interact with that person, know who they are, buy baskets directly from them if you want. That's what our program is doing. And at the end of the day, it's our goal to make sure that you can buy baskets directly from that artisan and you can help them get totally out of poverty if that's mm-hmm. if you choose to have that kind of a relationship with them. So we use technology uh, and our prosperity wages model. Our prosperity wages model guarantees artisans around the world more money from the Blessing Basket Project than from anyone else in the world. They're guaranteed at least two and a half times fair trade. Mm -hmm. So, for example, this basket that we're looking at from Bangladesh, it's in the shape of a square. It's beautifully colored, beautifully adorned by the artisan. And this artisan is Sagor, and she is artisan number 31 in Bangladesh. And you can learn all about her by going to the site. And at the end of the day, we know that it'll take her only about three years and when to get out of poverty. When we arrived in Bangladesh, women like her were earning the U.S. equivalent of a dollar for this basket. Mm-hmm. The Blessing Basket Project pays her the U.S. equivalent of $12 for this very basket. And when you take someone from a dollar all the way to that $12, it's unbelievable what happens with the women and um if he had the opportunity to talk to our country director uh, chandan he would tell you what an amazing difference our prosperity wages model makes in the lives of these women and folks can learn more about you by going to your website to find out where they can get these products correct that's right so it's 
blessingbasket.org is our website. And not only can you buy beautiful baskets there, you can meet the artisans there of your basket. Mm-hmm. And, of course, you can potentially be a volunteer. We'd love to, to see you uh, at our uh, world headquarters here in St. Louis. We're right next door to the Science Center, right down from the station here. Yes, uh, like just Yeah, we're your neighbor, exactly. <laughs> uh, so we're just right down the road here, uh, right next door to the Science Center. So we'd love to have you volunteer. You obviously can make a donation there to the organization mm-hmm. as well. Uh, we pride ourselves on our transparency. So any questions that you've got for us, absolutely reach out uh, to us through that website at blessingbasket.org. Um, and let us know what your questions are, and we'll take good care of you. All right. Well, I thank you so much, Teresa Carrington, the CEO of the Blessing Basket Project. Thank you so much for having us.